Oh my god, hey. I am going to be reviewing all eight shows from MT Fest UK, which is a new festival of musical theatre writing curated by Paul Taylor Mills in conjunction with the other Palace Theatre. Show number four was Porn! The musical. Just, just Porn the musical. Just, just Porn. I'm suddenly very aware of the fact there's going to be a video on my YouTube channel with Porn in the title. If you came here expecting anything other than a musical theatre review, you're going to be sorely disappointed. <laughs> MT Fest Porn the musical. This show had a lot of people talking uh, before they'd seen any of the shows. It has a fairly attention-grabbing title. Rather than being a musical based off of a particular 90s movie or based off of a Disney movie or whatever, it's based on an entire genre of movies. <laughs> yep, it's, it's about porn. I really don't know how many other ways I can say that. I actually had really high hopes for this one. I was really excited to see Paul in the musical. I thought it could be hysterically funny. I thought it could have clever writing. And I just thought this this could be something really genius here. It wasn't really. <laughs> My biggest issue with this, straight off the bat, it was such a weird plot. It was such a strange route. We got to Paul in the musical eventually, but it was such a strange route they took us to get there. The basis of this show, um, an actress comes on at the start in a sort of husky voice and tells us uh, we're going to be seeing the backstory of the greatest porn actor of all time. And then we cut straight to Malta, where we have a sort of Beauty and the Beast-esque, um, everyone in our little town is happy and little villager saying hello to each other opening number where we meet the happiest man in town who is about to get married and is friends with everyone and there's this running joke throughout the song about how everyone in Malta is related um which is a little bit racist but yeah, yeah. he's played by Dean John Wilson who is wonderfully endearing throughout the whole thing. Uh, his fiance breaks off the engagement with him because it turns out she's been sleeping with his brothers, nieces, aunts, whatever it may have been, yeah. Uh, he decides to move to America to achieve something non-specific. He gets there, meets a porn actress whose name is Sandy with a double D. Probably the best joke that they wrote. Uh, she's played by Sophie Isaacs. Through various miscommunications, he ends up um, participating in uh, the porn industry, in the studio where she works. Uh, this happens because the porn actor Dr. Johnny, played by Liam Doyle, um, has an incident. In any case, Dean John Wilson um, agrees to do this because he's very much infatuated with Sophie Isaacs' character, um, you've got this sleazy director involved, um, another porn actress who is a sort of um, a former Russian heavyweight uh, wrestler. It's a very funny cast of characters. One thing I did enjoy about this show, even um, its more heartwarming and emotional song is very cleverly written because Sophie Isaacs sings a song about these strings of bad dates she has. And the song that she sings in response to this is, I won't take this lying down. <laughs> that I like. That's clever. It takes us a really long time to get to the porn. And when you get to the porn, it's, it's, it's not that satisfying. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, oh, I need to be stopped. It takes way too long to reach a climax. This is, these, these are all terrible. But like, this is the quality of pun I was expecting. This is not the quality of pun that I got. There was a little bit of porn dialogue in there. And honestly, if the whole show had been that, if the whole show had been like set inside of a porn movie rather than about a porn movie, I think I'd have been a lot happier if the whole thing had just been terrible puns <laughs> and like awful porn acting and dialogue. I think that would have been funnier than what it actually was. He sort of went through this transformation where he was this shy and nervous guy who couldn't do it and then almost instantly with very little character development he could and we were like okay uh, we saw up to the end of act one and there was this very confusing ending to act one with a lot of mistaken identities where Sophie Isaacs has been off doing something and she's about to tell him when uh, he uh, gets mad at her because he'd been given false information by a blind doctor with a cactus and it's it's weird it's just weird. 
I loved the 70s vibes, the costuming. Um, if you were going to do Paul the Musical, of course you're going to set it in the 70s. Um, I kind of wished that had been more present in the music, more of a sort of disco feel. I also don't know how you stage this musical, and it's been done before. Um, I think at Theatre 503 or somewhere like that, I was reading a review of the original production. And I don't know how you stage it, because a lot of the scenes seem to be taking place leading up to or during the actual act when they're making these Bourne movies. So it sort of feels like just for that reason alone, it's fated to only ever be something that gets put on in a theatre above a pub. I don't know if it'll ever sort of break out of that environment or whether it should. I have the same issue with this that I have with the Adams Family musical. I love the music, I love the characters, I love the aesthetics. Um, I don't like the plot of the Adams Family musical because it's not definitive. I think of it as a Adams Family musical, but it's not the Adams Family musical, if that makes sense. I find the same thing with this. This is not porn the musical, this is porn a musical that features porn. It's more like this weird guy from Malta, a musical. Maybe it makes more sense when you see the second half and then there's some sort of something happens and the plot takes you in an interesting direction, but I don't know, I think by that point you've lost too many people to the interval who are going home to watch porn. I don't know. If you desperately need um, a porn the musical in your life, it might just be better to, I don't know, go watch porn and listen to Avenue Q at the same time. Thank you for watching my review of this new musical at MT Fest. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me doing more videos, reviewing shows, backstage at shows that I'm doing, singing things, being generally strange, um, then feel free to like, share and subscribe and just validate me. <laughs>